Okay, well, welcome back. Uh, we got thrown a little curveball here. Uh, you know, Lisa was gracious enough to come out. We didn't think that uh, we'd have Lisa out here, so we're lucky to have her on. It's always oh, a, always a pleasure having <laughs> Lisa out here. Uh, Yara Fawaz is our, our guest speaker tonight. Uh, Yara, I'll start with you. Uh, leading scorer for our team, 12 points today. Uh, you know, it was a tough job down low against Brigham, and, and, and but you had some great moves down low. Uh, is that something you've been working on in practice? Yeah, we work really hard in practice, and I think it um, brings on to the game, especially Ab and I down low. I think in the practice, it really helps us play in the games well together. Yeah. Now, how difficult was it going up against a girl who's got, you know, probably about six or seven inches on you in, in Brigham? Um, I think it was really hard, but I was able to execute pretty well. So. Yeah, I think you did a good job. So we get a couple of replays here that we're going to be looking at. So here's a nice little move down here, right? You know, a yeah. nice little move past O'Donnell with the foul. You know, again, got hit in the nose early in the game. Uh, was out for a little bit. Again, another nice move off of high <laughs> off the glass. Uh, you know, that was like that's like what you see in horse. Yeah, um, this is the best one. That was a nice little. Yeah, move. That was like I work on that in practice. That, really. <laughs> and it shows. It's like a Kevin McHale. You probably don't remember. At least no, we Kevin McHale. Kevin McHale uh, yeah. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. uh, but it was good. So Lisa, you know, it's it's a, it's a tough loss, but you know, Franklin, you know, one of the, one of the better teams in the league, Division One team. And Brigham, with that height, it's just very difficult to, to, to battle her. It is. And, you know, she's a great player. So we knew that, obviously, up front. So our goal was to, you know, try to cut back on what her average is per game and make sure that we take care of everybody else around her. Yeah. Didn't really work out, especially in the first half. Uh, we left, you know, some other girls open that we probably should not have. And, they were, you, know, they, they, you know, they scored on those yeah. opportunities. So, you know, but we battled in there. And so, she, like, like you said, she's got a lot of height on us. Um, she's physical underneath. And, um, but these girls, they, they worked hard. And they, they'll never come onto the court and give less than 100%. So, you know, wish we played them again. Yeah, I, you know, it'll be good. And, I mean, the defensive intensity was there throughout. Mm -hmm, uh, it and, absolutely was. And you could see that early on in the fourth quarter. You guys made a run mm -hmm. uh, because of the defensive intensity. And you guys started hitting some of your shots. And then again, Franklin got the ball into Brigham, and they kind of made a run of their own. Yeah. But do you think facing an opponent like this is going to help heading Absolutely. into the state tournament? Absolutely. And I told them that. I mean, we, today was a good, um, you know, indicator of what we need to work on in order to face teams like that in the postseason, and and we will. So, um, you know, we we come we've come so far since day one. So we we haven't even started tapping into the potential that these girls have as a team because they work so well together. Yep. You know, they're just so fun to coach because they can do so many different things out there and different combinations, and they work extremely well together. Like she had mentioned, her and Abby, on the inside, it's just a, it's, it's some good, um, you know, some good team, um, teamwork in there. And so, but it, it definitely shows us what we need to uh, focus our attention on. And you know, next is North Attleboro, which is not an easy opponent. So, and uh, you know, we talked in the locker room about taking out what we didn't get done, taking care of tonight, taking care of on Friday night. So. Well, I'll also say here from, you know, watching it and seeing the replays, uh, I think Yara, you and the rest of the girls showed a lot of composure because there was a there was a lot of physical, uh, mm -hmm. you know, physical play down down <laughs> low. You know, Allie Brigham, like I said, she's about six two six three. The elbows are right by your head and she turns those elbows quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there were a few push offs on the guards. I saw a couple right. of times that the refs not calling, but I think you guys did a great job defensively and not not getting too out of sorts when you see something like that yeah and you know and it, we've worked hard on becoming you know a little bit physical ourselves because you know in, in years past we haven't been quite so able to take the physical you know play of other teams and you know, come off to the bench and complain about it but now we're you know we're not phased by it so yep. it's it's showing that like you said a lot of composure on the court which is gonna in tight games it, you know it's gonna <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> get right there yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in tight games you know composure on the court's really gonna you know get you places yeah and you know i mean it's a it's definitely a good team you get two girls here that have been committed to you know college programs yeah. and uh i think it was bon uh, bondus and uh brigham mm -hmm. so uh you know but it was it was a i think it was a well fought game i think mm -hmm. you guys again didn't give up um, I think the future's bright, obviously. And again, congratulations on the making it to the tournament. I think it's probably one of the quickest ways it times is. you guys yep. have done it. Yep. So, I mean, that's a great accomplishment, but I know you're not going to sit back on no. that and just say you still got a few more games to play. So, Yara, we're still expecting a lot more from you. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, you know, 12, I don't know. I don't think that's your high. I think you're a 16. 16, yeah. yeah. So, Taunton. you know, but 12. Aiming for 20. But there you go. <laughs> Aim for, yeah, how about 30? How about 30? You know, we get the low Sky's post. a limit with this one. Absolutely. You know, you've got some good low post, you know, good low post presence. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, again, it's, it's a tough loss, but I know it's some, some teaching moments. Absolutely. Uh, but Yara did a great job. Uh, you know, so, you know, we're going to be signing off. I, again, appreciate Lisa always coming out uh, after a win or a loss. 
loss. Uh, it's always great seeing you at least smiling, so oh, that's yeah. good. <laughs> Yara, thank you for coming out as well. Thank he had you. a great game. So uh, this is Mark Davis again signing off for the second time. Again, throw us a little curveball today, but we <laughs> like that. Uh, so with a 52-40 uh, loss, we're going to be uh, signing off. And I'm not sure when the next home game is. Is it next? It's next week sometime. Okay, sure probably. I think it might be next Tuesday. Uh, so we'll be back uh, probably next week. All right. So everyone have a, a great weekend, and we'll go beat uh, North Attleboro. All right. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. Mm -hmm.